Hello there, welcome to the news on Nepal television. I am Rosina Rai, first starting with the top stories. Election Commission submits parliamentary election report to the president to submit for provincial assembly results on December 17. Winter storm brings bizarre tornadoes and flood threats in the U.S. Welcome back. Now we have the news in detail. The Election Commission has uh, submitted the report of the House of Representatives elections held on November 22, President Bidya Devi Pandari today. The Commission submitted the report of the results of the elections held under the first past the post and proportional representation system. New asked this morning, receiving the report, President Pandari said election was needed further for fortification of democracy. The head of the state also thanked the Election Commission for conducting election in a free and fair manner. While presenting the report, the Chief Election Commissioner Tapalia said 33.8 percent of women have been elected to the House of Representatives. He said more number of women were included through the proportional representation category as there were few women contesting election through first past the post system. As the president has received the report of the election results, now the process of forming a new government will begin as early. 110 MPs are being elected proportionally in the House of Representatives and 222 the provincial assemblies of the state on December 17. The commission will be sending the results along with the report to all province chiefs. The Election Commission has shared that the security deposits of 4,285 candidates who contested the election to the House of Representatives and the provincial assemblies were confiscated in this election. There is a legal provision to cons confiscate the security deposits of candidates who get less than 10% of the total valid votes. The bonds of 40 parties that submitted the closed list in the House of Representatives have also been confiscated. The Election Commission has extended a thanks to all three tires of the government for discharging their crucial role in successfully accomplishing the election to the House. Oh, do stay tuned a short break. Welcome back. You are on Nepal Television News. Now we have the news from International France. A powerful storm has spawned tornadoes in the southern U.S. and brought heavy snowfall and other extreme weather across the U.S. and parts of Canada. The storm has injured several people in in Texas and damaged buildings. Around 9,000 U.S. flights were delayed on Monday and Tuesday as the storm churned across the country, according to FlightAware.com. The weather has also closed down roads in some western states that are expecting up to two feet of snow. The storm could affect resident, residents in nearly every state in the continuous, uh, continuous weather extreme in U.S. The export said cleared a national emergency Wednesday as it struggled to calm violent protest over the President Pedro Castillo's austere, suspending the rights of personal security and freedom across the Andean nation for 30 days. The declaration suspends the rights of assembly and freedom of movement and empowers the po police, supported by the military to search a people's home without permission or a judicial order. Demonstrators outside the police headquarters were former President Pedro, Pedro Rose Castillo is under arrested, scaffold with officers to demand his freedom. Castillo is awaiting a hearing to determine whether he will remain in jail for 18 months while authorities build a rebellion case against him. Rick. Welcome back. Thank you for staying with us. Now the remaining international headliners. 
The UN Economic and Social Council voted Wednesday to immediately ost Iran from the UN's premier global body fighting for gender equality because of its systematic violation of the rights of women and girls. The US sponsored resolution was sparked by Iran's ongoing brutal crackdown on peaceful protesters who took to Russia opposed the resolution and said before the vote that it wants an opinion from UN legal experts on whether the economic and a social council was legally able to host Iran China has sent a new remote sensing satellite into space from the sin Xinjiang Satellite Launch Center in the southwestern province of Sichuan. The satellite Yugan 36 was launched by a Long March 2D carrier rocket at 2.25 a.m. Beijing time on Thursday and entered its planned orbit successfully. The launch was the 455th flight mission of the Long March carrier rocket series. Two more updates before. Santa Claus is uh, getting ready for another epic gift giving Christmas trip. Children around the world write to him requesting presents, but this year, letters from Ukrainian youngsters have extra poignancy. His office is based in State Claus Village, just north of Roviniemi, at the capital of Finnish Lapland. It is a popular destination for tourists looking for a winter getaway. It's the nerve center from where the Christmas Eve sleigh ride will launch, taking him down chimney to deliver presents around the world every snowy paradise for a Christmas holiday. Santa receives around a half a million letters every year. We have given him a secret identity. <laughs> identity, Mara. But when the Christmas evening comes and Santa puts the magic powder on the back of the reindeers before they start to fly, then his nose turns red also. Psst. We are almost at the end of this news bulletin, but before we say goodbye, the Commission submits parliamentary election reports to the President to submit Provincial Assembly results on December 17. Winter storm brings bizarres, tornadoes and flood threats in the U.S. Three dead in Luciana as more severe were expected.